Oh, hi, sweetie. Just doing my laundry, get, get my uniform ready for tomorrow. All right, scouts, it's come to attention. All right, scout, sign. Repeat after me. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, keep myself physically fit, morally awake, and mentally straight. Scout law, begin. The scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Two. All right, let's begin this meeting of the Order of the Arrow with our secret handshake. Very good. Uh, new business, the uh, ordeal is coming up. Ceremony team, are you ready for the ceremony to induct the new members into the Order of the Arrow? Very good. Where are we going to have it? At summer camp? Good. All right. Let's uh, finish the meeting and uh, get ready for the ordeal. Hello, my name is uh, Corey Bryan, and I hope you uh, enjoyed my uh, short little videos. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the dramatical perspective. Uh, uh, Irving Kaufman, um, or Goffman, excuse me, the G, uh, presented that uh, essentially all peoples are actors on a stage, and this perspective is used. Um, to uh, analyze that, um, I in my three little short clips I showed you three things that are part of that perspective. Um, the first one is sign vehicles. Now sign vehicles is simply, um, well, if you want to put it like our costume, it's it's what we wear to work. It's what we wear to uh, social clubs. Um, like the Boy Scouts, for example. Uh, so that was my sign vehicle for this uh, presentation. Um, the second part is what's called a front. Um, a front is something that an organization puts forward um, to the public. Um, it could be the Boy Scouts, it could be a, a place of, uh, of, of work where maybe you have um, Somebody's working a cash register, who's presenting a certain type of attitude, um, like in the movie Office Space. Um, you had um, the Jennifer Aniston character. Um, she was providing a front um, uh, of the company to be the waitress, be happy, go lucky, wearing her uniform and her flair, even though she really didn't like it very much. But, but that's an example of a front. Um, it's something that an organization uh, puts forward for the public to see. Now, with that, you also have the back room where um, things happen to make the, uh, to make the front uh, visible. Uh, the last part was called mystification. Mystification is, um, well, it's, it's a mystery. Uh, I showed you an um, example of the Order of the Arrow. It's a special part of the Boy Scouts. Um, they do have a lot of mystery about themselves because members have to be elected from troops. They go through a thing called an ordeal. They have a ceremony they go through. Uh, they have an ordeal that they go through. They do have secret handshakes. So there's a lot of um, back room with, with that type of thing where, where it has mystery that uh, isn't seen um, to the public. Uh, other examples of uh, groups like this would be Skull and Crossbones, uh, Freemason Society, um, even even actors um, uh, use mystification because certainly uh, not all those actors have that great of body. Let's just put it that way. Um, there are everything called spanks, um, you know, tighten that buttocks up. 
So, so that's another example. Now, what all this leads to is, is leads to conformity. Now, conformity is simply how we conform to meet um, the guidelines or rules of a uh, social um, group, organization, club. Um, now, certainly, um, I've experienced this in my life. Obviously, I've been involved in Boy Scouts for over 20 years. So the Boy Scouts um, certainly conform you to be, you know, teach you to be a good citizen, be prepared, um, you know, a good member of society. Um, other examples of this uh, would be like when I was in the Navy. The Navy actually will break you all the way down and then rebuild you to conform to their their I identity, their ideal of a, of their member. Um, this certainly goes on. Uh, even simply just uh, conforming at work um, uh, to be a part of the workplace. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, my lovely cat Buttercup here. Um,